How's everyone doing today and welcome back to another combo breakdown video. Now in the last episode we took a look at an easy low damage solution but this time I'm going to break down a max damage combo. Now max damage from Morgan is probably pretty close to this one about 700,000 a little over 700,000 depending on how well you mash but it is going to be pretty tough. You want a firm grasp of ev everything that Morgan can do including flies, unflies, shadow blade timings, soul fist timings, air dash timings, air heavy timings. It's all going to make a big difference of whether you get this combo down or not. Now there will be a range limit for this combo. You will need to do it either mid screen or closer. Meaning you can go mid screen, quarter screen, or corner. It should work for all three of those range ranges. You cannot do it full screen and you cannot do it three quarter screen. It won't work because you need to be in the corner by the end of the combo in order to land the soul fist loop. So we're going to want to avoid light attacks, medium attacks, and multi-hitting attacks, especially at the beginning of the combo. So the lead-in is going to be basic and it's going to be hard hitting. So we're going to start with an air dash down into an air heavy into a light shadow blade. We're then going to fly cancel that light shadow blade and immediately go into air heavy and then heavy soul fist and unfly cancel the heavy soul fist. As Morgan touches down to the ground, you want to jump forward and immediately go into air medium. This air M has to be instant in order to float the opponent at their highest point at all times if the opponent drops even the slightest bit it'll make the rest of the combo a lot harder to do and from the air m we're then going to go into air heavy heavy soul fist which is going to float the opponent as high as possible and from there you're just going to fly cancel that heavy soul fist air dash downwards go into an air heavy into another heavy soul fist and then unfly cancel that heavy soul fist now just like before, as Morgan touches down to the ground, you're going to want to jump forward and immediately go into air heavy. Now this air heavy might be impossible to land depending on how much altitude your opponent has lost over the duration of the combo. If they've lost any, you're going to need to stick an air medium in front of that air heavy for the combo to work, which will scale down the damage of the combo a little bit. But if you've done everything perfectly and your opponent is floating at its highest point throughout the entire combo, then the medium soul fist that follows it should land just as you reach the corner if you started the combo from mid-screen. Of course, you'll then want to fly cancel that medium soul fist, and from there you're going to air dash downwards, go into an air heavy, into a heavy soul fist. And then of course you're going to unfly cancel that heavy soul fist. Now that last heavy soul fist should pop up your opponent just enough so that you're able to touch down to the ground and go into one rep of a soul fist loop, which is done by going into heavy soul fist, fly canceling the heavy soul fist, going into a medium soul fist, unfly canceling that medium soul fist, and touching down to the ground, and then just going into the typical finisher, which is launcher, super jump forward into air heavy, medium shadow blade into finishing shower if you're particularly good at mashing because i'm terrible you can probably get above you can probably get above 720 uh for this combo and but from there you can go into a team aerial combo or a delayed hyper combo um personally i would probably tac into magneto and probably get about 1.3 from a three bar combo so that's pretty good considering uh, it's not typical of something you see from her. So, I would imagine that this combo is probably impossible to do online just because of all the teeny tiny little aspects that you need to get down so perfectly in order to land it. If you can land this combo online though, you're probably the best player ever, but I would avoid it online. If offline though, it seems like it's pretty. you can get a pretty capable feel for it and do it offline. But it's going to take some practice and you're probably going to drop it in, in some of the bigger moments. But yeah, that's going to be it for this combo breakdown. And hopefully you enjoyed the max damage combo breakdown of Morgan. And um, as always, I will catch you guys next time when I break down another one. But until then, peace.